Hey guys, Max from ShopDap.com here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a broken mirror turn signal on our Mark V GTI. Now we're here at the driver's side uh, mirror on this Mark V GTI. This is what we're going to be replacing today. As you can see, the lens here has uh, been broken. Looks like the previous owner may have uh, clipped a garage or something when they came in and taken out this turn signal. Luckily for us, it's a pretty simple install. Uh, we're going to show you now, first step is to pull off the mirror cap, which as you can see on the new one that we're replacing with here has these two clips that would be right here that secure the mirror cap down. So what you would do is you want to get your bone tool or, you know, trim tool in here and kind of pry this out carefully to not break them. On this one, they've actually already been broken, so it makes our life a little bit easier. And then on the front side down here, you want to grab the painted part of the mirror cap and kind of just pull it forward a little bit, and that will allow this whole cap to slide up. So you can see there's a clip here and a clip over here that slide onto the non-existent clips that this one has. So you can see where they would normally attach. Here you can see these. there's these little clips down here that hold the painted part of the mirror on. So when you remove that, you just kind of pull it out and it lets the whole thing come up. So now we can remove the actual mirror glass, which what we do to do that is you push on the inner edge. You can do this with the cap on or off. It doesn't really matter. I just happen to pull the cap off first. Push the edge all the way in this way and you can get your fingers back here. It's a little bit easier with the cap off. You got a little bit more room to work with and you want to grab the actual base of the mirror not the edge. See it clips in on this ring here. So you want to get your fingers back here as close as you can to this ring so you're not flexing the mirror and maybe breaking it. Then you can just unplug these wires for the heater element. They just slide off. It's not a plug like anywhere else. It's just wires, uh, spade ends. So then the next step is to remove this plastic piece. You can see there are two clips here. All you do is just press, squeeze these together and then it will clip out. And there's another one right here. I'll fold this back forward so you can see what's going on. Now that those are released, this just slides straight forwards. So what we released was these here, just clip these two and then down at the bottom, these just slide on little channels here. So they just slide right off. Now the only tools that we need for this job besides that bone tool was a T10 Torx, which it's a little bit smaller than you would normally have in a typical just Torx kit, you know, that you would get as a starter. So you may want to make sure you have this T10 before you uh, start this job. They're pretty small. So there are four T10s that hold this mirror turn signal on. This one, this car is actually missing one. So I'll show you where that one goes, but so there's one here. The one that's missing is actually vertical right here. It's where you would access it. There's another vertical one over here. And then one last horizontal one over here. Okay. Once you have all those unscrewed, this whole mirror housing will kind of pull away. You want to be careful you don't lose these screws, maybe put them in a magnetic bolt tray or something because they are pretty small. So then uh, the next step is to, there is one clip right here, this gray clip. All you need to do is depress that and then this part of the, the lower portion of the mirror will come off. You unplug the one electrical connector for this. It doesn't have any locking tabs. It just pulls straight out. And set aside our broken signal. Grab our new one. Plug it back in. Make sure you get seated all the way in there. Sometimes it's a little tight. Take this black lower portion of the mirror. A 
and clip it back on. You can really only go on one way, so you don't need to be too careful with the orientation. And we can go ahead and get our torque screws back in. And I like to kind of torque them down one at a time so that you don't like maybe pull it and get it in a weird angle where it binds up and might crack the plastic. It probably won't happen, but that's just a habit when you're tightening down multiple things that, you know, one thing is held in by multiple fasteners. And like I said, this car was actually missing a screw. The fourth one would go directly down here. You can see where this attaches. You put your fourth one in there. So that's changing the turn signal. Now all we got to do is reassemble the rest of the mirror. So this is that piece we took off first. Like I said, it just slides on the bottom. There's a little groove that it slides into on both sides. Slide that in there. And then it just clips in at the top. Take our mirror cap. And it, like I was saying before, on the bottom where these clips are, you can see there's a little groove here for this to go in. So this guy just sits on top here. So you get it lined up, you just push it straight down. You'll hear it click, and then you can kind of clip everything back in here on the front. That's all that that's held in by. And then we can go ahead and put the mirror back in, or the glass that is. So I want to make sure you remember to hook up your heater cables or wires. Otherwise you will no longer have a heated mirror. So they just slide back on and then that circular ring that I showed you before just lines up in the motor and then you just press it in until it clicks. You want to make sure you clip it all the way around otherwise it may not sit flush and give you a weird uh, distorted look. And that's it. We went and replaced that broken turn signal. You see, most commonly they need to be replaced because they actually get broken, bump it in a parking lot or a garage door or something like that. Um, but occasionally the LEDs do die and need to be replaced that way because it stops blinking. Um, this would be the same procedure if you did it on a Rabbit or a Jetta, something like that. It's all the same mirror, cap, glass assembly, all that stuff's the same. So. Um, we'll link to these parts in the bone tool that I used in this video below or the description or wherever it is that those things get linked. But if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to let us know in the comments, like, share, do all that stuff. And uh, let us know if there's any other videos that you want to see on this car or any of the other cars that we've done videos on. Thanks.